Hi there, hello. So Godot 3.3 released recently and you may be wondering if now is a good time to try it. I'm not going to install your intelligence in here and you can check the changelog yourself, but I'm going to talk about a bit more about Godot. Engine is not just the lines of code you can see, but also we need to look at the whole package. We need to look at the community support, available tutorials, documentation, product, projects, leadership and more. So let's talk about all of those and more in this video. The first unique thing you will notice about Godot is GD script, Godot's own scripting language. It is very easy to learn and majority of tutorials online you will find will be dedicated to this language. It is Python-like in nature and Godot is built with it in mind, so everything, every part of the engine works well with it. When you are ready to step it up a notch, you may use type GD script to get a better auto completion and in the future better performance. This is the way I prefer to work with it. However, what you will also find is that community often recommends using source code to learn about the engine. The source code is written in C++. As a result of that, Godot suffers from this dual nature of being very easy to pick thanks to type GD script and being impossible to pick by the beginners due to the reliance on understanding of source code, tens, tens of thousands of lines of code long. There is a strong disconnect between what Godot veterans think is easy to learn and what new people find easy, and there is very little work done to bridge this gap. I discussed it more in the Reddit thread I'm going to link in the description, as well as the issues I have with God of Documentation that I often find is lacking in critical aspects of the engine and is not easy to follow, so check it out. Okay, God of Development is advertised quite often as fully independent, community-driven, empowering users to shape their engine to match their expectation. While partially true, you can add your own pull requests and modify the engine, you will quickly learn that there is over 1100 pull requests stuck in the limbo at the moment some since 2017, because Redus will rewrite this part of the engine very soon. Many of them are rejected because we don't see the use case for it. The problem here is that those issues are usually closed within 24 hours and anyone who had the use case for it is prevented from voicing this opinion. At the moment, in my opinion, the biggest barrier to Godot adaptation is the Godot core team. I don't dispute the core team knowledge and expertise, I think they are very knowledgeable developers, However, the code base have grown so big that it's impossible for three or four people to rewrite the majority of it. They have to learn to let go of their fears and actually start managing and delegating rather than just making the project. At the moment, it feels that the core team wants to have a personal input in majority of the aspects of the engine, basically roadblocking any progress, because they have a better idea that they will merge soon, with soon being anywhere between two to five years. Getting a pull request added is not always about the quality of pull request, but about the politics and who you know to speed up the process. This may have worked for the engine when it was smaller, but it simply doesn't scale. As engine have grown and continues to grow, it will become even harder to get pull requests added. Without some significant changes to the process, engine progress will slow down significantly. Okay, but enough about the core team. What can you expect from the community? Well, the community is a bit of a strange mix. Majority of people are great and supportive. Discord is much better if you need help than anything else. But it's quite busy, so you may have to ask questions a couple of times before you get answer. Every now and then we get some insecure kids with their Godot is going to destroy Unity threads on Reddit. It's rare, but every now and then we get it. Core devs actively discourage those comments, which is good. It was far worse a year ago. I am pleased to notice some changes. Over the course of last year, the community have woke up to the fact that saying it's open source so you can fix your issues yourself and you can't never complain about the engine is not helpful. There is still some of it, but significantly less than a year ago. Community is much more willing to support you and listen to, and suggest solutions rather than tell you to, re to pull your own pull request. This was more common a year ago. On the other hand, any criticism of Godot is met with absolute cult-like hostility. You either love everything about Godot, or you are a Godot hater and need to be attacked. After a link above thread about documentation, I had a bunch of people follow me on Reddit, downvoting everything I say and sending a direct messages to me saying, why are you shitting on Godot, why are you even here? It was rather pathetic. I fully expect this review to be downvoted into oblivion and brigaded in the comments, so prepare yourself for that. Another issue of the community is the crazy paranoia. Godot team had to make not one, not two, but freaking three threads explaining to a bunch of idiots why getting a lot of money from Facebook is good. Links in the description if you want to read the discussion. People want free open source engine and absolute freedom, but are shocked to find out that absolute freedom comes at the cost. There is general mistrust in the actual making money in Godot community. Microsoft is of course spelled with dollar sign instead of S, 
and anyone not using Linux Arch is a shippy. Some very vocal members of the community are the worst part of the community and the most off-putting part of it. They are so detached from the regular gamers and Godot users that it's like two different communities, those who actually work with the engine and those who make it. This community feels to grow for more and more in part with each passing year. But it's not all gloom and doom once you accept that Godot is not without the flaws and has its own quirks. You may actually learn to use it and enjoy it. Here is some things I enjoy about Godot engine. Overall, I believe Godot is more than capable of accommodating the needs of a single or dev or a small team. It will improve over time. 3.3 is the best release to date. If you are making a 2D game, there is absolutely no reason you shouldn't use Godot. Big advantage here is that you are unlimited by the license. You have 100% creative freedom of what you make and no one can stop you. Also worth noting that Godot is free, obviously. It may not be a huge advantage, but to some it may matter. On the other hand, open source nature of the engine results in disproportionate support from gambling services. And I, I am not bothered by it personally, but I know that some people don't want to be associated with those kind of sponsors, so bear it in mind. Godot is constantly growing, and community have doubled on Reddit over last year, and seems to keep growing. People are willing to contribute to engine a lot. It may be a good time to start learning it today, because there seem to be more and more jobs coming available with it. Even now there's a couple at Tesla. It's easy to release and develop on multiple operating systems, without extra work. Consoles, however, are unsupported. This is due to licensing issues on consoles, not Godot itself. So you may have issues porting to it if it's your niche. Over time, I expect companies will start offering it, but at the moment this isn't much of a case. Same goes for larger collaboration. More people are using Godot than ever, but there aren't many using it at professional level. Building a larger studio may present a challenge. As a result of that, we don't have many large games made with Godot. It's hard to judge what the roadblocks and limitation you will hit on the way. Godot 2D support is excellent for what I need from it. The fact that it works with pixel and seconds as a measuring unit is great for planning games. New editor now has a better measuring tools for building levels. It enforces the use of delta time from the start, something that is very complex process in GameMaker. With new changes like move and snap to kinematic body, pseudo 3D parallax background is actually better than what GameMaker has to offer. It's likely the best on the market right now. Community has put a lot of work into it and seems to be interested in contributing more. 3.3 is one of the best iterations to date, with some nice improvements over 3.2. I really enjoy the node system, it just clicks with the way my brain works. The more I use it, the more amazed I am by it. Everything can be its own scene, it's like prefab in other engines. So imagine you have a scene like this. Now you want to change the enemy fireball attack to ice blast. All you need to do is create a new scene eye blast, replaced fire attack. Your fire attack is still its own scene, so you can reuse it in the other parts of the engine, you can give it to the player or a cannon. You can even instantly it on its own. You can reuse and multiple components from one object to another with ease. You can even transport components from different projects to each other. Signals and groups are awesome. They allow you to decouple objects from each other. So if I fire a gun in the game, I can send a signal called gun fired. I don't have to worry if there is any object that uses it. If there isn't one, nothing happens. Everything does its own thing. If there is one, they will react to it appropriately. This further helps with modular design and keeps objects separate. There will be a link in the description to the thread where I discussed it in more details. Finally, the animation player is amazing. You can animate any property of the node via animation player. You can affect things like node position, modular values, change gravity, toggle and untoggle collision layers, etc. You can also execute function directly from animation player. For example, you have def animation. At the end of the animation, you can call function q3 to get rid of the enemy node. Or any other function you want. It allows you for vi greater visual control of what you are doing. Overall, Godot is fun to work and is definitely worth trying. As long as you are willing to accept the limitations, you can make it work for your project. I enjoy using it and I will be sticking with it. Take care.